What's going on, ham fam? Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you watch this video. We're wrapping a truck today. Come with me. Nice cut. What is going on, ham fam? Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. We are down at Andrew's house once again. This is where we will be conducting the wrap. So, as you can see, we got my lovely assistant slash best friend, Andre. And uh, the truck is filthy. We actually grinded down the bed cap rails and uh, it's bare metal back here. But we also have the replacement rails back there, so no big deal. Um, tonight, hopefully, we'll be able to at least wrap the roof, uh, tailgate, and hood, you know? And then I gotta take off these mirrors and paint that. But uh, should be too hard of a process for two people. Um, you know, it's quite simple uh, besides getting, you know, all the fingers out when you get in a rough area. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna be documenting the whole thing. Um, right now, we're just taking all the, we're just washing the truck and then we'll be clay barring it and then degreasing it. And then uh, before you put wrap on, you're gonna put isopropyl alcohol on there. So, uh, yeah, we're doing that right now. After it's washed and everything like that, I'll take you back inside and we're gonna be starting to do the wrap itself. So, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. What is going on, ham fam? It is 1.30, and uh, me and Andrew are tired. Not too much, though. But uh, this is a very humbling experience. As you can see, we have the hood done. Um, uh, if you come up to me at Daytona and you talk shit about the wrap, I really don't care because this is our first time doing it. And um, nutsack. Yeah, I'm kicking the freaking nutsack. All right, but uh, as you can see, there's a few imperfections that we just couldn't pull through. Um, but other than that, we heated up the rest, and uh, the rest of it is looking glass right now, low-key. And the tailgate had a lot of body work on it, and I didn't have the proper uh, sanding tool to, you know, like the, the curved one to get the good dent. But, um, it, it, I mean, it don't look bad, you know? For our first time wrapping, all this is going to be covered, so all this uh, dents that you see right here are going to be covered with the tailgate cap. Um, and by the time you see the end product, uh, you'll know that. And then... These will be covered by the bed rails that I have right there. So I think we're going to try and tackle this uh, fender and then tuck the hood right now. And then tomorrow, uh, take the mirrors off, door handles, those whole nine yards. And then we should have the whole front half of the truck done. And then we're probably saving the bumper and the bed sides and the roof last. What do you think about that? That's a good, that's a good plan because uh, this right here, this hood, this freaking hood, this black and gray white hood that you see, it kicked our ass. It took about six and a half hours. No, just it, hold on, wait. It, it literally took like four hours though, for real. Like I actually understand how people charge people when coming to wraps. Like I'm like, why the hell did I I've asked for my roof to be wrapped, uh, and it, they charged me. They tried to charge me four hundred. I was like. Okay, but now I actually understand. Like, yeah, if you I put, would, I would charge somebody six hundred dollars to do that. Literally, literally, like, I, right. no wonder these are literally just as much as uh, paint jobs. Like, I actually, I feel your pain. But uh, hopefully, we get better as we prolong the process, and uh, hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. Um, we actually accidentally did the hardest part first, in my opinion. So, it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But uh, 
We're gonna get back to work, yeah. and then uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll give you a little update video. Go and try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white. They ain't ain't game. It's the officer. Please don't search us. We don't got a thing. Tell her park it up. Then that ass be poking up them jeans. I've been sparking up. Like the fireworks. I keep the flame. Heard you barking up. It's the wrong tree. I got the strings. Yeah, I'm charging up. They can't keep up. Got them looking drained. Now they walking up. Trying to put the face to the name. I pull up and I scrap. And I'm swerving. If a nigga try to holler, she gon' curve him. We came from under buzz like a Persian. We been staying in our lane, ain't no merging. Rap a nigga like a motherfucking turban. Yeah, these niggas all square like Irving. Yeah, we grew up in the hood, no suburbans. If I say I need my money, then it's urgent. Yeah, yeah, they want me to quit. Yeah, they want me to shift. But as long as I'm alive, we gon' keep on making hits. Why they steady shooting bricks? Man, it's lit. Yeah, it's lit. Me and Dale back to back, and yeah, I'm dishing the assist. Yeah, they talk a lot of shit, but we really with the shits. Lame ass niggas always gon' be reaching for they hit. Smoke a nigga like a clip. They, they can never catch me slipping. Every time your girl around, she be watch the way I'm dripping. Drew it. Try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Please don't start us up. Got that black and white. They ain't ain't gang. Alright, so day three, we kind of took our time, uh, kind of uh, irritated at it, so we're just trying to get it done now at this point, but it's still not looking too bad besides the cab corners. Um, everything's not going to be perfect. If you see it at a show or see it at a meet, um, just know it was done by two crackheads at three in the morning, alright? So, basically we're finishing up the last bedside, um, Andrew's going to knock out that driver's side rocker panel. Um, and then we got the roll pan, which is gonna be easy. And then the roof is probably gonna take the longest part. And then the bumpers. And then just assemble back the mirrors and we should be good. So right now, basically what I'm doing is uh, holding at a lesser angle. So if you do it like that, it's just gonna continue to bunch it up and it's a lot harder to uh, work the material down. So you're gonna hold it at a lesser angle. You don't have to use heat, but I like using heat. And then this wrap glove helps a lot. Then you're just gonna come over here smooth out the whole way down and if you get a little air bubble like, like this right here for example sometimes it'll work out if you lightly work it out that one's not going to so what you could do is just pull up the material again I'll go ahead and do that one and then uh, no more bubbles right there so uh, the material is pretty forgiving, uh, but it is a pain in the ass to work with, so I respect people who do it all the time. Uh, I might wrap it again later on, but uh, we'll see how long this one lasts and if it holds up to the weather. But I do have a lot of extra rolls, so I'll probably redo my um, driver door and maybe the handles at some point. But for now, it don't look too bad for our first time. What is going on, Ham Fan? We are done, minus the roof. We have to do the roof still, but um, yeah, the truck is done. Got the new bed caps on there. Waiting on my 1500 style cap, um, like I said, but she is together. And, oh, 
Oh no. And she's uh, so I still have to get stock mirrors as well. But there's a few spots where it could have went better. Vivid vinyl. Um, could have done Avery and made it a little more helpful because I heard they uh, stretch a little better. But um, yeah, not. I mean, very big learning curve. Uh, I'm freaking filthy because we've been at it for a while. But I'm very stoked on this. Um, yeah, I'll probably redo it <laughs> in a couple months with something else, maybe. But this is just for Daytona. It's a Daytona look. Um, I have to fix the lower bumper. A little few pieces on that. But, yeah, figured I'd show you guys the finished product. And I, I'm not afraid to admit it, like, where we messed up at, you know? So, right here on the bumpers and stuff, like, it does not look pretty, okay? And then in some of these corners, this is, like, when we first started. We did tailgate, hood, fender, or that fender, this fender, this door, and then we worked our way around, kind of. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the... You know, stock mirrors, no tail mirrors anymore. But, um, yeah, like I said, if you see this uh, at a show and you're trying to judge it, I mean, it's whatever. I'm proud because I did it myself, saved a hell of money, and it was a learning process, you know? So that's why I always tell you guys, um, as long as you have a weekend to do something and motivation to learn it, uh, you can do anything you put your mind to, okay? And like I said, a lot of this doesn't look bad, you know? The body work on the tailgate, I told you that, but the roll pan and stuff looks pretty clean. You know? I think it turned out pretty good. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, smash that like and give it a thumbs up. Same thing. And uh, make sure you drop a subscribe if you do enjoy today's content because we have plenty of stuff coming for this truck. I've been telling you. Big stuff has been coming for a long time now, and I wasn't joking, so uh, yeah, smash that thumbs up, and uh, I'll see you next video.